Hello everyone, this is Angela. I'm back again to show a few things that I got at a couple places and I'm going to go kind of quickly so that way I won't have to do two videos. Um, and I have a share. Um, I made a couple cards and I did a flip book. And I think I might do the flip book in a separate video because it's a um, video response, I guess, to Scrap Diva 29's giveaway. So um, the first place I went to, I guess I'll say, is Hobby Lobby. And I got this, which I've been wanting for a long time. I just never wanted to get it, <laughs> spend the money on it. But it was smart down to $11.99, which is equivalent to it being 40% off. So I grabbed that. Um, I got these as well. These were half price um, this past sale. So they were only $1.50. And I thought they were really cute with the little coffee cups or wood. Um, these were on sale for $2. They're Prima. Um, I thought they were really pretty. There was a few of these. I only grabbed two. I love this color. Um, I've seen somebody use one on the front of a flip book, so I was going to try that. Um, these are new at um, Hobby Lobby. I thought they were so cute. They were not on sale. They were $2.99. They're diamonds. They had like fish. Um, I want to say bows, hearts. And I can't remember what else they had. The main reason why I went there were for these fringe scissors, Martha, Martha Stewart fringe scissors, because I wanted to do the fringe tarts, um, like Maggie Holmes has. Um, so I used my coupon on that. And then these cards and envelopes were um, half off. So I got those ATC cards for a dollar, and I got some white tags. I have the off-white or manila colored already, so I got those for a dollar. That's everything. No, I got one more thing because the punches were, I think, half off or 40%. 40% off, I think. So I got the large heart, again, to make the um, Maggie Holmes fringe parts. And I've already opened this and used it. Okay, so that's everything I got at Hobby Lobby. And I just popped into Michael's real quick and they happen to have these really pretty trims that I like so much and everybody else likes so much. Um, they're $4.99 originally, and I got them for 40% um, off. So I spent, I think, $3 each on these. So I got two of those, and then only got one other thing there, and that was these doilies. Um, they were they're by Artsy, and I got those for, they were in one package, half off, and I think they ended up being like $2 or $2.50. That's everything I got at Michael's. I quickly stopped by Dollar Tree, and I found this washi tape it's the sparkly one I don't I hope that the glitter doesn't fall off like on their ribbon and then I got this one this is an older one I think but it's cute it's got clouds and rain and all that on it I got this sheet of rhinestones and I also got this sheet I've actually never seen those there before sure they've been at other ones but mine doesn't get that much I grabbed those and then uh, Tuesday morning, I got this basic gray pad. It's called South Pacific. South Pacific. I really like the papers in it. Of course, there's one in here that I love, which is the pineapple one. That one right there. It's really pretty. These were only $1.99, so I grabbed two of these. I wanted three. <laughs> um, there was like a lot, but I only grabbed two. And then I got this big pack of... Um, cardstock it's all different colors and it's already scored five and a half by eight and a half grab that for $1.99 and I think that's everything I got at Tuesday morning they didn't have anything new and then um, on Facebook I wanted the new stuff at Target and I haven't been able to find it so there's a Facebook group Target dollar spot goodies or stationary swap and trade or something so I got on there I was able to get this it was a dollar fifty I got this as well as $1.50, and I think she wanted like $4 for this. It's a little stamp set. Love that. Um, so I got those in the mail the other day, and that's everything I got as far as shopping. Sorry I had to go fast, but my phone's dying. And then, um, sorry, I've made two cards. I have two birthdays, my daughter's birthday and then my friend. And so I'm, the first one I made was this. This is that neat and tangled stamp called... Well, Itty Bitty Welcome Committee, I think. I used the Hooray, and then we're celebrating you today. And then I colored them up with Copics. I used the um, stitched 
rectangle by Lawn Fawn, and then this is the inside part of the scalloped um, frames by MFT. And then I've already filled it out, but I just put the little birdie with the hat on it. Really cute. And then this is what I did on the back. This was a pre-made card, or not pre-made, but you know what I mean. Um, the card was already pre-folded or whatever. And then I just did that. That's the Lawn Fawn. All of that's Lawn Fawn, the new sets that came out. And then the second card I made was this one. Um, I used the stress inks for the background of the heart. Cut out, punched out the heart with that new big punch I just used. This celebrate this day is from the Alta New script writing script something script sentiments, um, and I am emb heat emboss this with the platinum hero arts embossing powder. This is the inside part of that the outside part of the scallop frame. And then this is the large stitch rectangle on the outside here. And then I just did happy birthday. So celebrate this day. I just thought that turned out really pretty. And I did um, uh, lift up the heart with foam tape. And then I just did the made with love again. And again, this is one of those note cards that was, you know, I just put the, this on the front. So that's everything, except for I did make a flip book, and I'll just show you the front. This is the coffee theme flip book I made for Scrap Diva 29's challenge, and um, I'm not going to go through it all. I'm just going to give you a brief little overview, um, because my phone's getting ready to die, like I said, and I'm going to do a separate video. So everybody, thanks everybody for watching, and have a good night.